watching Snapped Marathon, which is one of my favorite things to do on a lazy Sunday, is watch Snapped. Even though when I go to bed, then I start having some crazy dreams or nightmares, but I'm just like, I can't help it. Like, I'm so intrigued by, like, that kind of thing. And also, um, like, Ghost Adventures, which I love Zach Bagans. He's like, oh my gosh, he's super fine. I have such a huge crush on him. But yeah, I wish I could meet him. Like, I would love to do a lockdown with Zach Bagans. That would be pretty amazing. Lockdown, somewhere scary, and he's like so big and buff, he could just take care of you. <laughs> but I'm married. Hey guys, today I'm doing a drugstore haul, and I typically like to go to the drugstore twice a month just to check out like some of their latest releases or beauty lines or just new products, sometimes even not new, but just things that I like want to try out. And of course, I do reviews sometimes. If I really like a product, then I'll do a review. But um, I also like to just use certain and just have a variety of like affordable products. And then I can also have some monthly favorites if I fall in love with anything. So um, I went to CVS a few a few days ago, and um, I picked up a lot of goodies. So today I'm gonna do a huge beauty drugstore haul. Today is also Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful, well-deserved mothers out there. I'm probably not going to put this up today, which is Mother's Day, but um, just thought I'd share with you guys. I'm actually going to take my mom out to dinner or like a late, yeah, early dinner. Um, and then, um, what else? Oh, we're going to go celebrate my husband's uh, mother, Mother's Day. <laughs> we're going to go with my husband's mom to their house to celebrate her and the other mamas and uh, my son actually got me those flowers back there and what else he got me some beats by Dre and he got me a big balloon just like waking up with my little puppy he's so freaking adorable guys he really is okay so now let's move on so the first thing that I got were these collagen infused contour wedges now I typically like to use foundation brushes to apply my makeup. I never, like, I'm not into applying my makeup with my hands anymore or my fingers. I know a lot of people also love to do that, but to me it's just like, mm, I don't know, I feel like a brush and um, blending it out with sponges works a lot better for me. So I ended up picking these out, um, again from CVS, and these ones also have an angled tip, a rounded back, and a contoured back as well. So this is pretty cool. I want to try these out. And they're latex. They're disposable, so of course you can't use these every single day. But what I like doing is just applying my foundation and then just patting away like the concealer or any lines that, that the foundation line um, leaves. It just blends a lot better. So I really, really like these. So I got these. Um, and then I have a few things over here. Um, also, I got the carat, uh, 24 Carat Prime Golden Makeup. Uh, priming gel for your body. This is by Chrome Beauty, which is uh, or Chroma Beauty, which is a line from Courtney Kim and Khloe Kardashian. Now I've tried their lashes. Do not like the lashes because they're really plasticky and they don't look really natural and they're really uncomfortable. So I wanted to try this out because the container actually really caught my attention and it's really cool um, because it's a really it doesn't have any smell, but it's a gel that you apply on your on your body and you really gotta do this really fast because if you don't blend it out like it stays on really well and you just see the gold here <gasps> what did I get? Ooh, I got a package thank you baby love you it's from Isaac aw thank you so I just got a goodie box perishable once open, contents may disappear immediately. Hmm. What is this? Okay, okay. What? The unforgettable gift. This is a gel. What's in here? <gasps> chocolates! Oh my gosh, I love chocolates. Oh, that's so sweet. So, I just got a little gift for Mother's Day, too, um, for my husband and the baby. Um, dipped just for you. Have you heard? We offer more than just berries. Go ahead, take a bite, girl. Okay, I am. So, 
I am so going to take a bite because these are so fresh. So it comes in a little box like this. And then these are also chocolates. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Seriously, that's like one of my weaknesses. Is Oh my gosh, guys, you guys are going to freaking flip out. Look. Moving on, I also picked up something that I haven't heard about at all. This is called Euro or Aero Mineral Makeup Mist. And I also got the Malibu Hydrating Mineral Bronzer. Now these are cans, spray cans. And they also have foundations, but I didn't want to try the foundations because spray foundations sometimes can be a little tricky to match your skin. And to me, i rather have a liquid cream or mousse. I got the Hydrating Mineral Primer, and I actually already opened this one up, and I sprayed some in the back of my hand. I haven't used it on my face, but I sprayed some on the back of my hand just to kind of feel the consistency of it. And you spray it on, and it's kind of liquidy, but once you start to work it into your skin, in this case, the back of my hand, it starts to feel like an actual face primer. So I don't necessarily know how long it's going to last or how good it is, but I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated or, you know, maybe my future tutorials. So I got that one, and then that one really caught my attention. And then this one, you guys know I'm a sucker for bronzers. Like, that's, I love contouring, bronzing my face and body. So I ended up getting Malibu um, and hopefully it smells like coconut or anything like Malibu-y if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, this is just a bronzer. I'm going to see how that one works. Probably going to apply with a, like, just spray it on the back of my hand and then grab a brush or um, a sponge and then just like buff it into my skin. I feel like that one, since it is liquidy, um, I feel like it's going to give me more like a dewy look rather than like a matte flat bronzer. So um, I got that, and then I also got some foundations. This one I wore yesterday um, to the Wango Tango concert, and this is a Super Stay Makeup 24-Hour Wear Foundation from Maybelline, and it's a brand new foundation. comes a little tube like this. Now this is actually a little darker than me, what I typically go for, but then when I put it on my skin, it actually matches this area a lot better. So. Um, the color is the color True Beige, but like I said, if you're like an NC40 from MAC, I would go with like a shade lighter than this one. This one's a little bit darker, but I love it. I lo lo love it. Um, so definitely going to do a review on this foundation, the application, and all that process thing. Um, and then I also tried out another foundation, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. This is the Instant Age Rewind. This one's also from Maybelline. Um, it's Eraser Treatment Makeup. Um with SPF 18 and I got the color the color is 250 pure beige now what really caught my attention I really like the concealer so I wanted to try out the foundation um, and I'm actually wearing it on this section of the face and then I'm wearing something else that I really love I'll tell you guys on the rest of my face but I want to try it out you just click it it has a little sponge you can buff it out with this but I actually rather just you know apply it on first and then use a sponge or a foundation brush but um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated this is not a new product so um, I'm sure there's tons of reviews already out there so I won't do a review on that one but love the concealer so hopefully it really works out for my face um, now the next foundation that I want to talk to you guys about is I, I opened it today to use it this is the youth wear foundation from physicians formula SPF 15 velvet feel flawless coverage agree with that look up to 10 years younger instantly so I'm assuming this is targeted towards like an older age group but I really like this and it also has a 12 hour wear so this is really cool. Um, so like I said it has SPF 15 and it comes a little container or tube like this and I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and it also comes with a foundation brush which is how I applied it onto my face and I really really like this foundation guys. Like I have this on my face and it gives me wonderful coverage. It looks really natural like I still see my skin seeping through the makeup which is really cool and it doesn't cake up. So. Yeah, you just get a foundation brush, you get the actual little foundation here. This is like my new must-have. This is going on my monthly favorites, guys. I'm so serious. So, I mean, I don't know how... I'm going to try it on my mom to see, like, if it does make her look 10 years younger. We'll see about that. Um, so, yeah. I got that. And then I also got the Cool Eyes Leave-On Eye Rescue Mask. Brighten those dark under-eye halos with cooling cucumber chai eye masks. Mask. So, I ended up getting this. 
just, you know, when I travel, put them not on the plane, or maybe on the plane if it's a long flight, but you know when you travel, you just like look, your skin just looks really bad. I like to get the masks that come in little bags like this because they don't take up a lot of space and you could just use them one time and bam, throw them away. So this is really cool. I'm eager to try that one out. Um, and then, of course, from Physicians Formula, I love that brand as well. So I tried out their uh, Hide Red Blemishes. And then this is a concealer duo um, for green and light. Um, basically, this is a high-tech, long-lasting, non-creasing formula for a flawless, natural-looking finish. Um, the red, uh, I'm sorry, the green concealer corrector, this is actually to correct any redness. So if you have a lot of redness or if you have like red blemishes, put that on and it's going to like even it out and you're not going to look red anymore. So I like to put that on if I am having those days where I have like red, like this is where I typically get red here. So this is really cool. The concealer though, um, I'm going to try it out again, but I tried it out yesterday and it kind of looked a little too cakey, so I'm, I don't know if it's like that and the foundation, I don't know what it was, but I'm definitely going to give it another try before I let, tell you guys that it's not good or it's too thick or what, whatever, so um, yeah. And then again, like you guys know, I'm obsessed with bronzers, Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder, and this one is matte. So this is the container, so you can see it. The color is 120 matte light, so it gives you a really nice light matte finish, a little bit more natural, matte 130 in a medium, which is a little bit darker for the days that you really want to contour a little bit more. And then I got glow light because I also love shimmer, but I prefer matte ones, so I got glow light. And again, these are all by Maybelline, they're the Dream Sun, and I also got a face illuminator because you know once you bronze and you contour, I feel like it's really important to have an illuminator on your face to give you that dewy look, especially if you're using a matte bronzer. So I went ahead and I got the Bronzing Face Illuminator, um, again from Dream Sun from Maybelline, and it comes a little tube like this. But let's see. Oh, guys, I got this mascara yesterday, or the other day as well, from Revlon. This is the Revlon Lash Potion by Girlicious. Girlicious. And it comes in a tube like this. And the wand is what I was like completely sold. First of all, I went there with the idea of just wanting to try out a new mascara. This is a new product. And then the wand itself, it's freaking awesome. Like you have to give yourself at least three coats, in my opinion for me, just to make my lashes look long and thick and just like there. You know, you can see them really visible. If you want just your eyelashes to be nice and defined without a lot of volume or a lot of length, just give yourself one coat. So, again, this is the one from Revlon, new one, and oh my gosh, I'm like a sucker for nail products. I really am. Like, I don't, like, it, only if I'm going to do, like, a nice event and then I'll get my nails done professionally just because... I typically don't have time to do my nails really, really well, so I just kind of slap on a color. Um, this one that I'm wearing is one of my favorites um, that I bought, and it's called Passion Fruit from Orly, and it looks like this. Really pretty color. It really is. So it dries really fast as well, so I like that. And then from Orly, I also picked up this one it's called Sweet Blush. And I got this one because I wanted to give myself like a French manicure. And this is a really nice pretty pink. And I also got a few more. Okay, I'm obsessed with Selena Gomez. You guys know that. She's like freaking awesome. She's so young. So success so successful. Mega talented and confident. So I am like obsessed with Selena Gomez. So I wanted to try the nail polishes from her collection um, with OPI. And I got this one, which is really cute glitter iridescent polish called uh, Heavenly Angel. And then we have Selena, which is a pretty pink. And then I got some glitters, which I was excited. Of course, I got the typical yellow. This one is called Hit the Lights. And then, I feel like Hit the Light should have been like a glitter one, but anyways, um, Inner Sparkle and then Confetti Fun. So this one's a really pretty because it has like pink and purple or lavender and black and silver glitter. And then this one is just a multi-glitter um, polish. What else did I get? Oh, I got some nail polish wraps from Essie. I ended up getting the prints that I love the most, which is Don't Cheat on Me 
And then I also got uh, Embrace the Lace, which is also one that I've had before. And then I wanted to try this one out because it's a new one. This is called Shiki. It's not new, but it's like new to me because I've never tried this one out. But I also wanted to show you guys some lipsticks that I got from Rimmel. Um, by the way, I had no idea that Airy Fairy from Rimmel was discontinued. That's like one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. I went there searching for that lipstick and I couldn't find it at all. Not even the sticker, so it's not like it's sold out. Oh, Dreamy is really nice. Dreamy is more of a, like... It's really a soft, soft pink. I don't know if you can see it. You can barely see it here. It's a really soft pink. Kind of has like a pearl finish. But the one that I really like, it's not this one either. Uh, this one is called Summer Angel. Is it? Yeah. This one is also Summer Angel. This one here. And then we have my ultimate favorite. This is my new Airy Fairy to me. Um, it's very similar actually. Maybe they just came up with a new name. But Airy Fairy is such a cute name. This one is called Nude Delight. And it's this one right here. The bottom one. I also got the MAC lipstick. This is not part of my haul or my drugstore haul. But I ended up getting the Riri Woo lipstick. It's a red lipstick and a matte finish. And it like sticks on your lips all freaking day. I swear to you. Like even me kissing my son all day long. Like it doesn't even transfer. Well it slightly transfers but not a lot. But this is the lipstick that Rihanna came out with. And I placed my order. I wish I would have bought like at least one more just for backups. Just in case because it's a really nice matte red. But, um, yeah, I, the day that it came out, Rihanna posted it on Instagram, and I was like, I'm all over the lipstick, and I placed the order and just came in, like, two days ago. So, that one's really cool. Anyways, that's basically all the, like, exciting things that I got. I know this video is going to be really long, but thank you guys so much for watching and for checking out the blog and my Instagram and my Facebook and my Twitter and all that stuff. So, thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I can't wait to start filming and just doing, like, just tutorials and more things with all of these brand new goodies that I got. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!